gather together today, not only to honor Deborah Rob, De Deborah Randolph, excuse me, in death, but to remember the life that she lived. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come to you today with heavy hearts. We come to you, Lord, with sadness. We come to you looking for peace and for comfort as we come to remember the life of Deb. Lord, we ask for your Holy Spirit to fill this place today. I ask these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Deb was blessed with 61 years on this earth. Never had the opportunity to meet Deb, but I would like to think that she would not want everyone here to be sad, but to remember the good times and to think about the life that you shared together. But with those memories also comes sadness with the loss of a mother, a grandmother, a wife, a friend. But I'm here today to offer you a comfort, a comfort that only God can give you, a comfort that nothing on this earth can compare to. That comfort can only be found in God. Even though I did not know Deb personally, from the conversations I had with some of you, I learned that Deb was a very special woman to many of you. I heard how she loved people. I heard Deb never met a stranger. I heard how she treated everybody just like they were family. I heard how she loved to spend time with her family. But what I heard most of all was about the love that she had for her family. She had for each one of you. I heard how she always did her best to be there for you, no matter what the situation was, no matter what was going on in your lives. Deb wanted to be there and be a part of that. I'm sure each of you have a special memory that you shared with Deb, a memory that you can look back on and think about, and it will bring a smile to your face when you think about that. But along with these memories also comes sorrow. Today I want you to offer the comfort that God has for you. I'm encouraging you to let God wrap his arms around you and comfort you in, the, in his word, in the scriptures. God promises us he will never leave us or forsake us. To you as an individual, he can give you comfort. I want you to take comfort in knowing that each and every one of us can enjoy a better place, free of pain, free of suffering, and a brand new body standing in the presence of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31 tells us this. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I want everyone here to know that this doesn't have to be the end. Jeremiah 29, verses 11 through 14 says this, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with your heart. I will be found by you. For those of us that are here today, we can also have comfort in knowing that we can someday join in the presence of God. 2 Corinthians 1, verse 3 and 4 says this, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. 
God gave us memories for a reason. I want you to take a moment now and reflect on Deb's life and how you spent it with her. I want you to remember the good times that you had together. I want you to think about the hard times that you went through together. <laughs> but I want you to remember that the times we have together are a gift from God. Every second we're alive is a gift from God. And what you do with that time is a gift back to Him. John chapter 3 verses 15 through 17 tells us this, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in Him. But for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. For everyone here today, we need to live each day as though it's our last. Enjoy life the way God intended it to be enjoyed. Take time to talk to the ones that you love. Offer forgiveness and healing to each other. There's going to be good days and difficult days in the future for everyone. But you need to support each other. You need to love each other. But you also need to take time to get to know the God that created you and the plans that he has for you. Because he has plans for all of us. I want to encourage each one of you today. I want to encourage each of you to take a memory that you have with Deb. And place that memory in your heart. And when you do that, wherever you go, when you move forward from today, you're going to take a little piece of Deb with you wherever you go. She'll always be in your heart when you do that. Also want to encourage each of you to allow God to comfort you. God's comfort is available for each and every one of us through a personal relationship with God and with Jesus Christ. As we conclude today, I want to just offer my deepest condolences to each person here today, to the family, to her friends. May you just feel God's comfort. And as we conclude, I'd just like to share one more scripture with you. It comes from John chapter 14, it's verses 1 through 6. It tells us this. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, as we give the life of Deb Randolph over to you, I pray for all the family and friends gathered here today, Lord. Lord, I, I just thank you for the, the love that you had for Deb. I thank you for the love that you have for, for each of us. May that love give each person here today peace and, and comfort and knowing that you will always be with them, that you'll never leave them, that you'll see them through this difficult time. May we have comfort in knowing that you, Lord, will see us through everything that we're going to go through. May we all remember the life that we shared with Deb. May we take a memory and keep it in our hearts, Lord. Most of all, Lord, may we seek you out as our source of comfort that we need during this difficult time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.